Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Hi, hey. hey. How are you? Good evening. Good、uh, evening. Yeah, this is noontime here. <laughs> yes. But I saw you in the TV. Your face is all over the world. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Sure, because, you know, unfortunately, you had a mask. But, yes, but I did. You did a great job with a sign in English. Yes. I know.、So, yeah. Just a great. This is, you know, kind of a, you, you did a please and also sign English together. Yes. What a progressive idea. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. And、uh, um, you are working at the fire department, right? Yes, sir. I am. Uh huh. And uh,、um, you are managing the people over there? Yes, I do. Wow. And、uh, now it is COVID 19, serious time in Georgia. Yes, it is. Tell me the situation of your job. This is a tough job. It is. You said you would like to know the situation of my job? Could you please? Okay. So, yes, it is a tough job. And obviously, with the pandemic, that has made it a little bit tougher.、Um, but what I do is something that we are really accustomed to doing on a regular basis.、Mm. I think the difference now is that. More people are aware of it because it's on television a lot.、Uh, and a lot of frontline workers have really been exhausted through this process. So、sure. I think the general public has a deeper appreciation for frontline workers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's、uh, really hard working for you. Yes. Very hard work. And how did you pick up to lead a police? How did I pick up to be the、yeah, why, why you became, became because you?、Okay. So I have family who were firefighters before when I was younger, and they asked me about firefighting. And so、uh. I decided at that time that I would become a firefighter when I was a very young woman. Ah.、Uh. Yes. And then,、uh, which means, like at this time, this ceremony, you are selected. Right? You are selected to lead. And、uh, um, why you are selected? Well, I am the current president of a local chapter of the International Association of Firefighters. Yeah. It's local 3920.、Ah. And the general president of that organization, along with the Biden inaugural committee, reached out to me. Uh-huh. And they asked me if I would like to participate on behalf of the firefighters.、Wow. And so I said, absolutely, yes, it would be my pleasure. Yeah, I believe because, you know,、um, new president, Mr. Biden, you know,、yes. uh, he is quite responsible about what is going on about the COVID 19, as well as、yes. safety of the society, because it is divided. Yes.、So、that is why I believe that you are the person to be selected. Yes. I agree with that. Uh huh.、Um, you were with the president, new president, and also Kamala Harris, you know, new vice president, and the main、yes. significant people over there. What is your impression of his speech and also situation over there? You know, his speech was excellent. It was very moving. I think it was very sincere.、Uh, it was exactly what we needed.、Mm. And I think he. Uh, really intends to put things in place to first、uh, work to unify our country, to, to bring things back to normal. I mean, well, I don't want to say normal, but bring things back to where they need to be.、Mm. And I think that he takes this COVID pandemic very seriously. He's working right now to put things in place to start to stabilize that situation.、Mm. So we're very proud, and I think his speech was excellent.、Mm-hmm. I think it was very timely. Mm-hmm. And I think it was necessary. It was a necessary speech for people to hear. And also, I'm really counting on Kamala Harris, too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely.、Mm-hmm. I think that she is going to be a great compliment to him.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think they're going to work together very well. And I think they will get a lot accomplished in this administration. 
I see. In Georgia, just yeah. before the kind of inauguration, there are election. And the two, yes. you know, I mean, Senate are elected. Yes. And uh, do you have any comment about it? Well, uh, it was an awesome feat. I'll say that. It was an awesome feat. You know, Georgia is historically a red state or a Republican mm -hmm. state. Yes. And uh, the state of Georgia made history again because they, we call it flipping the state. So they flipped the state blue. Mm. And which speaks to uh, the growing diversity in the state mm. of Georgia. Mm -hmm. So it was um, really historical mm -hmm. and it was awesome to watch. Yeah, exactly. Particularly, you know, this kind of situation, you know, I hope that the United States will be healed. But uh, what, what is your view for the future? You know, of course it is tough job, quite tough job because a lot of, lot of distrust and the ultra right wing, or of course, you know, minority, and uh, like you, like a black person, and uh, me, I'm Asian. You right. Know? right. And uh, I hate to destroy any democracy or equality or diversity. And I want to integrate the power together. So, do you have any comment for the future based on the, I mean, Biden administration? Well, I think it starts with the leadership, obviously, but we also know that each person in this country has a responsibility mm. to do their part, to work together with our current uh, leader mm. and to, to do our part to move the nation forward in a different direction. So mm. certainly um, I think the future is bright for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have new leadership who values inclusiveness and mm. diversity, who mm -hmm. values human life, mm -hmm. who values the uh, importance of operating together in unison or I working think. together to, to, you know, to pull the country back together in a positive mm -hmm. way. So mm -hmm. I think when, when it starts with that, and then we have to do our individual parts to make the collective stronger. I see. I see. Yeah, that's a quite important message. Do you have any message to the Asian people, particularly in Japanese, which is far away from your side, but do you have any? <laughs> well, let me say this. I have such a deep admiration for Japanese culture. Thank you. I think you got, yes, everything that you all do, you do with the intent to perfect it. Mm. And it is such an admirable quality. Mm. I so appreciate your culture. So I thank you all so much for being a shining example to the rest of the world, really, for wow. how we should get along with one another, how we should treat one another, especially our seniors mm -hmm. and our children. Mm -hmm. The family, it is so important. I, I have such deep admiration for your culture. Mm, and I am so thankful yeah, that great. you've got enough of me to uh, reach out and call. Thank you yeah. so much for that. Thank you. Because, you know, um, you are expected to have a lot of hard work from now. In a particular oh, in yes. the area, you need to fight against the COVID-19 patients. As well yes. as the maybe sometimes unfortunate thing may happen. Some people who cannot understand the democracy may cause a problem. Then you have to, as a firefighter, you have to direct, you know? Right. Uh, so right. your job is quite important. And uh, just lastly, let me know your, how can I say, decision or like for the future as a <laughs> top, top lady of the firefighting department. Well, we are optimistic for the future. And as you are aware, there uh, have been some vaccines that have been approved. Mm. And so what we do as firefighters, we encourage people to mm. get their vaccinations mm -hmm. um, because the biggest thing is um, immunity mm. to this condition. And the more people that take the vaccination and can build up an immunity, the easier it will be to stop the spread of this disease. Mm -hmm. Or I'm sorry, of this virus. I understand. Mm -hmm. How about... Uh, uh, Chaos of the people. How do you think? Chaos. Chaos. Setting. Chaos. Chaos means like, uh, I mean, people hating each other, battling oh, each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, well, I think, I think that was just the climate that we were in. And like I said, I think the leadership has a lot to contribute to that. Mm -hmm. And our current leadership obviously values um, collaboration mm -hmm. and collective, you know, cooperation. Mm -hmm. And I think once he's in 
in office for some time and people have an opportunity to see that, I think that they will lean in that direction. Mm -hmm. So I'm not overly concerned about the chaos. I'm more concerned about putting my energy into supporting the collaboration or the, you know, the collaborative efforts between us. I see. Yeah, I heard that your sign language you learned from your father. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, sweet memory, I believe. Very sweet memory. Yes. Uh, uh, well, this is a sign language, but it's a sign to respect the diversity, I believe. So absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, you had a wonderful experience, I believe, in uh, inaugurations. And uh, I did. let's continue the energy together. I did. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, I uh, is that, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, um, I want to say arigato. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, let's yes. continue to have uh, this chance. I want to keep stay in touch with you to see time by time. And uh, if I can go to Atlanta, of course, I will meet you. Please come. Yeah. Come and I'll show you some good Southern hospitality. Beautiful. I love it. Yes, and I, if I should come to Japan, I want to meet you as well. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. So see you again. See you again. Arigato. Arigato. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the city of South Fulton, Georgia, Fire and Rescue Department, President of the International Association of Firefighters, Local 3920, Fire Captain Andrea M. Hall for the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs>